Hey guys, Hazen here, and um, today I'm going to be bringing you some Clash Royale. I have to say it's been pretty addicting. Um, this game only came out two weeks ago, but I can't seem to put it down. I'm pretty competitive, so I've been climbing the leaderboard pretty furiously. I'm ranked 22 right now in the world, but uh, it's only a soft launch, so only select countries have it. But that being said, I am only level 8, and some of the top players here are level 12, uh, Molt. Uh, he's a famous YouTuber, level 10. Chief Pat, another great YouTuber. I think they're both mostly Clash Clans, but um, with this new game, they've kind of changed their focus. A couple other high-level players here. But, yeah, not too many level 8s up here. i got to say, it's pretty lonely. But, um, I'll talk to you a little bit about my deck that I'm currently experimenting with. Uh, Tombstone. I really like this card. It's a spawner, basically unlimited spawn skeletons for a whole minute, but it's pretty pretty fragile, so if you hit it a couple times, it explodes. The good thing is it explodes into a bunch of skeletons, so that works in your favor. I like it because it also doubles as a defensive structure. You put it in front of a knight, or, or I guess it's called a prince in this game, a prince or a hog rider, and it actually distracts them, so get a couple more shots off them before it tries and hits your crown tower. I like the Goblin Hut. It's a solid spawner. Uh, Spear Goblins are probably one of the strongest cheap units in the game. I, I really like the Golem. It's been doing pretty well for me. It has a ton of damage and it splits into two smaller Golems once it's destroyed and those can be difficult to deal with as well. Uh, arrows for crowd control. If there's too many small minions such as goblins, you can take them out real fast with arrows. Or minions, they work really good against them too. Archers and goblins, they're really good. Uh, just anti-air and some cheap units to throw down if you're pushing. Barbarians, uh, the cheaper alternative to a golem, uh, I find. But they they do suffer from, um, from wizards. Wizards are a very good counter to barbarians if you have the card. Uh, Lightning, a lot of people have been using. I think this is probably one of the best cards in the game right now. It can basically do huge amounts of damage to your crown towers, 432 for my level 4 Lightning. And outside of that, does 864 damage. So if you have a Goblin Hut, it takes out most of, that, most of that, those hit points down, and suddenly it's not spawning too many more Goblins. <laughs> So that being said, let's jump into my first replay. First game I want to show you is a win against uh, Avedis. I actually picked up 41 cups, which is more than usual. He's just under 2700 cups, so you'll know this is a really high level replay. All right, so I'm in the blue here. Looks like my starting hand is actually really expensive. So my first thought is probably to drop down that goblin hut. And unless he does something crazy. So he drops down the minions in the back, so I'm safe to drop down that goblin hut. We're both saving up mana once more. I think I'll need a little bit more support, so I drop those archers. He drops that wizard, which is quite does quite well against all my units right now, but um, luckily I have their arrows to support my archers and my goblins. Now I have a mana advantage because he did drop those minions and my archer my arrows only cost three mana. He dropped those goblins to distract a little bit to prevent some damage on his tower, but I managed to get there not too much. Now we're both even in Elixir as well. Uh, I use Elixir and mana interchangeably. Looks like he's using Fireball against the buildings. It's a really good counter. That's a really well-placed Fireball. Take this out of that tombstone, freshly placed, and prevents more goblins from that hut. I dropped down a hut as well. Followed up with some Barbarians. Right here, I don't want to overreact. He hits the tower a couple times here, uh, but that's kind of worth it. Instead of dropping dropping my Barbarians to counter right away, then he'll have all the answers. So right now I have a good lead on mana. I managed to take out that wizard right away with the lightning. You don't want to waste lightning unless you can get a two for one. So whether you can hit a builder's hut or um, a wizard like that, otherwise you're just kind of hitting the tower. You don't really want to hit the, the the king tower otherwise it'll be active in the field. So here I managed to get in a couple more hits with my barbarians and spears coming out. Uh, he did counter with minions. If you, I did kind of miss the minions there but I managed to hit the tower with arrows. So it looks like the main, that we're all just playing on the left side here. The right side's being quite ignored. Um, still even on mana. I, 
think I'm, I'm quite ahead with uh, about a thousand health on the tower. Again, don't want to overreact when his barbarians come in to kill that hut. He can have it. Right now I have lots of mana to answer anything that he drops down. He's stalling once more with those goblins. Once he drops down that wizard, I know I can drop my golem down because it'll tank most of those hits. Anything else that I drop down cannot really take out that wizard, so I have to use that golem. Right now, even the golem's doing a lot of work on my barbarians, which just melt to it. But um, luckily my golem went through and got a couple hits on his tower. Now his tower is pretty low. Um, I know I can lightning here, but there's still time left on the clock, so I want to throw everything I can to defend this push and hopefully push it into overtime. And once I get into overtime, I can drop that lightning and win instantly. So if, as long as I can keep this left tower here in, intact, then I will have a sure win. Right now, the last ditch attempt with that hog rider, I can dump that dump that uh, hut down to distract him and hopefully get him down. And once again, drop some of the barbarians and I got the skeletons right there for the answer. So right now he's all but lost. Boom, got him. All right, the second video I'd like to show you is actually against Smur. Smur is also at a really high level gamer. And he's at around 2,600 cups himself right now, but uh, let's jump right into it. He is a level 9 as well, similar to Evadus. Now, the first game, I actually had uh, a lot of themes of patience in it. Um, this deck that I use against Smur is actually a little bit more aggressive. The only difference is, instead of a Golem, I have a P.E.K.K.A. But uh, let's see how that turns out here. So my deck is a little bit more friendly than the last game I showed you. I have the Goblin Hut and I have Goblins to kind of delay time. I don't necessarily want to drop the Goblin Hut first, but I do. Um, luckily he dropped the barbs on the left side to counter. Now he, he launches a rocket right at that Goblin Hut. He doesn't hit the King because he doesn't want to disturb it and basically allow him to be in play yet. But uh, it does take out the Goblin Hut and it is a decent strategy, but um, the reason I put my Goblin Hut there in the beginning of the game is to prevent that rocket from injuring my crown tower because if I put it down in the bottom left there or down in the bottom right then that rocket can actually take out both the Goblin Hut and do significant damage on my tower. So here um, I did pause the replay. I did drop that P.E.K.K.A down and start pushing the left lane here and he has a perfect answer. It to it. He has that Inferno Tower that can burn down that P.E.K.K.A pretty fast. I have no free spell, so uh, good on him to have that. It's a pretty safe deck. But uh, he does have that that Knight there that drops pretty fast to the P.E.K.K.A. Now, he does lose that Inferno Tower, but he's able to clean up my forces with relative ease. Uh, I do have the mana advantage here, so I do drop down that Tombstone, just to keep some pressure on the left side. He has the overall advantage because his crown towers are still full health and I've lost a third of the health on my left tower. I know that his rocket isn't shouldn't be in play yet. Now at this point he drops his balloon down. I feel really safe here because that balloon will actually draw toward the middle to where that tombstone is. So um, because my tombstone is there I feel safe so I don't really need to hurry for an answer for that balloon but I, kn I do know it's coming. So at this point, I'm thinking, well, maybe I can drop my Barbarians down, but this is where things get really dicey. He launched that rocket, and he's going to take out both of my Tombstone and my Hut. So I immediately have to drop down my Goblin Spears to take out that Balloon. I know that he doesn't necessarily have Freeze yet, because he just used that 6 mana rocket, but I know I have to do more than just let my Tower take out, uh, worry about that Balloon. I do drop my Barbarians down really quickly to try and counter because I know he'll either have to deal with the Barbarians or use resources to support his Balloon. I managed to take out the Balloon without too much damage and my Barbarians are doing a good push. Doing some little bit more damage on his Crown Tower now because he did only use a Knight to defend against all those Barbarians and following up with Archers I was able to do enough damage to take it down. Now all I'm worried about is defense because there's a minute left and uh, he already knows that I have a P.E.K.K.A, so he'll have an Inferno Tower ready for me. So he's going to give all he has to try and take out either my left or my right tower. Probably try and take out my left tower since it's already a third of health down. So that's why I started spawning uh, Skeletons and the 
Goblin Hunt on the left side. Again with the rocket, it takes out both the buildings, but um, I do use a number of mana to spawn those buildings, but and the rocket is less, so it's more efficient for him, but I am able to basically delay the game and try to push, push on the right, because as soon as he starts pushing on the, the left side, I can push on the right side to counter that and hopefully take out his right tower. So now he's on, he's on his back foot, he's playing defense, and I'm just trying to run the time down. He did drop his Inferno Tower down. Now this is where things might get dicey. So he has a free, st free spell in his, uh, in his hand right now with the Balloon. That's a really good combo, pretty, pretty good combo in high play. I think it's pretty popular right now. But I do have my Tombstone, and I, I drop it right there, yep. Draw the Balloon straight to the middle so he cannot... Um, his balloon has to go take it out first. If he wants to try and launch that rocket, the balloon's already heading toward the middle. The time it takes for that rocket to fly there is going to be too long. My, my goblin hunt is right behind it, so I know that once the balloon takes out that skeleton hunt, that balloon's going to draw down to the middle, and my left tower will be safe at that point. So let's see what happens. I do drop down those goblins to support, and the archers for, for the guarantee. We'll see if he drops his hog rider down. That's basically his only hope in the last eight seconds, but I think he's pretty much given up. Yep. And there we take the second one. So for my last game here, uh, let's see if I can try and get into a live battle and um, see if I can play and talk at the same time. I've never tried this before, so... Um, Hopefully it'll be all right. Um, chest slots are full, so let's just see what's going on in this one. Got some archers, some goblins. Ooh, 11 arrows. Could really use an upgrade on that one. Sometimes arrows don't even take out those uh, level 10 or level 11 troops, or even goblins. They just stay alive. It's kind of insane. My search time is actually quite quite a bit on this one. Sometimes if I reset it a couple times, it'll, it'll go, but if we're just patient here, maybe we'll find a game. All right, so we did find a game against uh, Tian Kuang. Let's see what happens. My starting hand is quite expensive. He's a level 10, so he's really aggressive, dropping down those barbarians right away. So I'm going to drop the goblins, hopefully to counter. This free spell is here, so I kind of have to drop that lightning down to prevent my crown tower from taking too much damage. Um, right now, I'm saving up for mana. I don't know what he's going to do next. Um, see which lane he pushes. He's going to push on the right lane, so I think I'm going to drop my goblin hut here to try and counter some of those flying units. Minions, I guess. Alright, he's dropping down the hog rider. I'm going to use that to block him right away and take some hits on the hog rider. I know it's coming in hot. Um, luckily, I know he probably doesn't have his free spell yet again yet, so I think I came out ahead there. He's going to drop that wizard down, which is uh, quite strong against these units. It's going to be able to push right to my tower unless I do something about it, which I don't really have anything to do about it right now. I'm going to drop my archers here on the right side to try and get it, try and shoot it down before it actually gets to my tower, because it does do quite a bit of damage. So, alright, so he's using that balloon right now, and I have no answer to it, so I have to push the right side, and hopefully, hopefully, I can get it down, and we'll trade towers. He does have that free spell there. So, um, we'll see what happens. Don't have to worry about the balloon, because I know it's going to go down now. So, unfortunately, he has really good crowd control. He did take out that, um, that army right away. Let's see, if I can save up for a golem push, it'll be really good. Got to counter that hog rider right away, so it doesn't do too much damage. Hopefully keep up the pressure on the right side. I have a minute left. If I'm patient, I might be able to push that tower down. So it's getting pretty low right now. Take the opportunity here to drop that lightning down. Now it's down. Uh, I can probably finish that tower off with my arrows. I have a minute left. I start pushing on the left side. So, oh no, his balloon is coming back for the kill. So, defending that. Luckily, my archers are already there. I'm going to start pushing on the left side. His hog rider is going to come in again have to try and defend it. Hopefully my goblins can take it out before it gets to me. Now my left side is pushing quite hard. 
that golem is all the way at the tower. I, oh, luckily I got that bright tower down. I do have a chance to win here, so if, if my force can actually push that down, it would be impressive. Again, he's a level 10, so uh, he must be panicking right now. Oh, I took it down, so all I have to do is defend against this lonely hog rider, and if I can do it, let's see. All right, took that down, and he has no hope. Those arrows aren't going to do it. Wow, what an exciting game. I'm glad I could do this live for you guys. Um, I just wanted to do a quick shout-out to my clan, Full Attack, which is led by the YouTube sensation Galadon. He does great Clash of Clan videos, and he's also doing a lot of Clash Royale videos and streaming on Camcord. So shout-out to them, and um, take care. See you next time.